You know, as Christians talk about the age of the earth, there's uh, kind of two broad categories of people. There are those who believe that the earth is six to 10,000 years old. There are those who believe that the earth is uh, four and a half billion years old, as, sci as the science seems to indicate. Uh, question is, you know, what are some of the strongest scientific evidences that the earth is indeed billions of years old? Well, I think one of the simpler ones is just the sheer quantity of biodeposits that's in the crust of the earth. I mean, we biodeposits would be oil, oil coal, uh, limestone, limestone. Uh, you know, concentrated metal ores. These are things that are the remnants of life that has decayed and deposited somewhere. Either correct? that or the result of the activity of life, uh, okay. past life on planet Earth. And, you know, we've done an inventory here, reasons to believe, that shows that there's a minimum of 76 quadrillion tons of biodeposits in the crust of the Earth. I, I presume that's more than animals and plants could produce over the span of a few thousand years. Correct? Exactly. I mean, you're going to need millions of years, even with all the plant and animal life on planet Earth being at the maximum possible abundance, uh, taking the sun's energy and converting with a maximum possible efficiency into these biodeposits. So, so you can put hard limits just on some calculations. You can put very hard that. limits, and that's something we've done at Reasons right. to Believe, showing that there's no way you can fit all of the Earth's biodeposits into that short of a time frame. So what else? What, uh, what else is uh, besides the biodeposits? Well, another easy argument? one is you, you look at the planet Earth and the uh, short-lived radiometric elements are missing. So these are radioisotopes, r elements that decay from one element into another. Yeah, for example, plutonium. There's no plutonium, natural plutonium, in the crust of the Earth. And plutonium has a half-life of 88 million years, so uh, you know, it's decayed away. Uh, which means that uh, the Earth so has got So we could produce it in our uh, nuclear reactors, but there's we none can. left. So, so no the fact natural. that it's a few million, or tens of millions of years and it's not here anymore means that it's all decayed away. The original amount has all decayed well, away. Well, plutonium would still be here if the Earth was a billion years old. The fact that there's no plutonium left at all means that the Earth must be much older than a billion years. Okay, and so that's just one example. There's no right. Neptunian either. Yeah, I think uh, uh, technetium is another one that technetium there's no naturally abundant. One, right. Okay, so the radioisotopes, you've got the bioposits, the radioisotopes. What, what, what would be your third strongest argument that the Earth is billions of years old? Well, again, for the lay person, I would say the ice cores, because we've got deep ice core drills in Antarctica and northern Greenland, which show as many as an a million annual layers of ice. And so this is where you've got different layers of snow coming down and so you can actually record kind of like tree rings, like tree uh, rings varves, exactly. varves, other deposits that right. you can count. We actually have histories where these date well into the tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands. I think the ice cores go almost back to a million years. They go they? back to a million years, that's correct. And we can prove that they're annual layers because you actually see the dust signatures of volcanoes that have erupted uh, in human recorded history. So where we can tie them to recorded history, they do indeed they match do indeed that these, are, show annual that these are annual layers. Moreover, you can actually see in the deepest of the Antarctic ice cores, uh, 10 cycles of the variation in the eccentricity of Earth's orbit. And that takes how long is the eccentricity, or how long it's, is that cycle? It's a 100,000 year cycle. 100,000 year cycle. So, so we've, got, we've got easily hundreds of thousands of years then in these ice cores. That, that shows that the, again, you've got a million layers of ice there, and, and it's all based on, uh, you know, uh, celestial mechanics. Yeah. Newtonian mechanics tells us that Earth's uh, orbit uh, varies in its eccentricity with a 100,000 year cycle. The fact that we see 10 such cycles means that definitively got, a million, a million years. Million the, years the fact that it correlates with how many layers we can count is pretty remarkable it too. Is. It really does say that we live on an earth that is quite ancient, well into the billions of years.